Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about what school did for me. We're talking about grade school. Now, I had an interesting grade school experience. Um, I was homeschooled up to 6th grade. So 7th grade to 10th, actually 7th to 12th, I was actually in school. I had some college, so it was really 7th grade to 10th grade. We're going to talk about what that did for me. Okay, homeschooling is different, but 7th grade to 10th grade was interesting for me. And we're going to talk about what it did do for me. What it did for me was it exposed me to more social atmosphere than I was comfortable with, and it really actually taught me to have some social skills. It taught me about conformity, peer pressure, and all that fun stuff. And it ta taught me about people like... Looking back, it taught me about people separating themselves into friend groups and, you know, tribes. You know, it taught me that whole, you guys ever notice there's like that group of friends that sit together, that group of friends, that group of friends, that group of friends in school, and it taught me about that. And it taught me, I learned a lot of things in, in school, actually. Like the school program I had informational-wise, there was a lot of information, and I was really happy for it. I learned a lot about history. I learned a lot about um, science, like chemistry. I have an appreciation for chemistry. I never knew that I would have. Math, we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to math in a second. English, I had the greatest teacher of all time for English, Mrs. Fed. And she really taught us some critical thinking skills that even the college I went to in a class about critical thinking did not teach me. Because Fed was on point when it came to teaching critical thinking. And of course, you know, I met my bad teachers, my good teachers. Of course I would meet that. Um, that's what it really taught me. I did learn critical thinking in school. And I'm forever grateful that my English teacher, Mrs. Fed, taught me critical thinking. I'm forever grateful to her for that. Because I think that is a skill that has led me to feel successful in life and really understand myself. It's very weird what critical thinking does when applied correctly. So we're going to talk about what school didn't do. School did not, it failed at preparing me for the future. It failed at preparing me for college like they said it was going to be. And it failed at everything it promises to do. Right? I, the things I learned in school, except for critical thinking and some math and writing skills, I really don't use okay I don't try to go get the job or whatever what I do is I pick what I want to do and I work at it school was the most prefabricated experience ever and I think that because of that I never got to learn how to you know go my own way and pick my own way of doing things like you can do in life and so it gave me school gave me an expectation of life that no matter what, I would know what I want to do, and I would just do it, right? I wanted to be an aerospace engineer, believe it or not, because of school. But I really wanted to be an aerospace engineer because of Kerbal Space Program. And school taught me that being an aerospace engineer is good, so I'm like, oh, aerospace engineer is good, I play Kerbal Space Program, boom, okay? Later on, I figured out I wanted to be a YouTuber because in school, I got told that being creative sucked and that I sucked at creativity. I sucked at creative writing. I sucked at creative art by hand. I sucked at all of it. But when I discovered YouTube, I realized I liked it. Ooh, look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, I can do that with my headset. I probably shouldn't break this headset. But I sucked at it until I realized I sucked at it because I didn't work at it. If I work at it, I'm good at it. So now we get to math. Math was interesting for me. Math, manipulating the numbers is really easy for me. But what I didn't learn in math, which I learned from critical thinking, was setting a goal. Math, to me, the the way of thinking of, I have X, I need to solve X, and I have, here's my information, I need to solve X. That is a skill that I'm really good at, that I apply to my life all the time, okay? Let me give you an example. I'm working at my job, and I need someone to... Over the course of, let's just say, the next two months, they need to get more flexible. I use the thing. I say, okay, they need X. The, or They need to get from point A to point B. A 
plus or minus whatever needs to equal B. What is that? Right? So I give them the stretches and I encourage them. And, you know, there's multiple dy dynamics. It's more like A, B, C, D, E plus something needs to equal X, Y, Z. Right? That's really what life is. And that is a skill that in math I was encouraged to use, but not in the practical sense, in the number manipulation sense. So when I figured out that that math skill that was fostered in school could be applied to life, that it was the really the key for me to have. Starting, I'm starting to live an amazing, happy life because everything to me is so easily understood. Hard work to me, whether or not something can be solved is more of a problem than how hard it is to solve the problem itself, right? If, let me give you an example. This is my water bottle, okay? Whether or not I can fill this up is more of a problem to me, is more of an issue than how hard it is to actually fill up this water bottle. That's the way my life is. And I feel like school yet fostered that skill, but in the wrong context. And now looking back, I don't blame the teachers because they were required to do so much bull crap that of course they're not going to think the way that I did, which or the, the way that I do now, which is, you know, using that math skill to solve problems in life. Of course they're not going to learn to do that because they're required to teach a bunch of crap. You know, it's, it's the way it is. So, you know, combine the critical thinking skill that my English teacher used and the encouragements of my math teacher really, they did a lot for me. And I look back and I had an art teacher that would encourage me too. And I feel like she knew that I wasn't going to be an artist, but yet she encouraged me anyways. And that's something that I still apply to this day too, is that skill in school. So I feel like school, what school on paper did for me is very little. But what the people at the school did for me was a lot. And school taught, school and college both taught me to, like, expect me to get things. Basically be entitled. I, on my own, got rid of that sense of being entitled. Right? That's why I don't complain about YouTube. Like, I'll say maybe once a year about how YouTube's broken or something, but I don't complain about it. And I used to when I was in school. I used to complain about YouTube, but now I don't. And I feel like now I understand not being entitled and I can take the, all the practical stuff I learned at school from all the people and apply it to my life in ways that I didn't think I would ever apply it to. And that is what school did for me. It was not the system that helped me. It was the people and my own brain. So I'd love to know what you guys think. I know a lot of you are still in school. Let me know what you think in school. What are you learning in school that is useless or useful or you think is going to be, you know, all that stuff in the comments below. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make.